Bismillahirrahmanirrahim Alhamdulillahirrabbilalamin Arrahmanirrahim Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh Dear viewers and students at large I welcome you to yet another lesson Our today's lesson is about phrasal verbs and we are going to take it in form of a conversation. Welcome. Dialogue. Dialogue. What were you two arguing about? What were you two arguing about? Nothing. Salma always makes a mountain out of a molehill. Once we cleared the air, we found out that it had been just a simple misunderstanding. Nadine, Salma always makes a mountain out of a molehill. Once we cleared the air, we found out that it had been just a simple misunderstanding. It's good to sometimes open up and come clean. It's good to sometimes open up and come clean. You are right. Getting into disagreements has wiped me out. You are right. Getting into disagreement has wiped me out. It's no easy matter. I'm on the edge. It's no easy matter. I'm on the edge. So, these are two people talking, it's a dialogue. Maybe they are neighbors. And one neighbor had his neighbor arguing, maybe they are a couple, maybe he had them, he had his neighbor arguing with the wife. Maybe these things sometimes they happen, their argument. The wife and the husband, they will argue, couples will argue. So maybe the neighbor, he had his neighbor arguing the previous night or the previous day. And then when they met, he want to know what was the argument about. So he asked, what were you two arguing about? What was the argument about between you and your wife? And then he says, nothing. It was not anything big. The argument was caused by nothing. Salma, maybe the wife name is Salma, it's just an example. Salma always makes a mountain out of a molehill. So, my wife Salma, she always makes a mountain out of a molehill. To make a mountain out of a molehill, it means to overreact. A small matter, a small problem, then you exaggerate it, you make it appear or you make it look like a big problem. This is what is called making a mountain out of a molehill. So, a mole is an animal that lives underground. It's a nocturnal animal, a rodent. So it digs, when it digs, it puts the soil up like a small hill. Somebody who is making a mountain out of a small hill is somebody who likes to overreact, to make a small problem look big, but it's just small. Oh. Once we cleared the air, we found out that it had been just a simple misunderstanding. After we had talked, me and her, after we had discussed the problem, we found out the issue that we were arguing about. It was just a small misunderstanding. It was a small matter. It was nothing to argue about. It's good to sometimes open up and come clean. It is good to sometimes open up and come clean. Nothing. Salma always makes a mountain out of a molehill. She always makes something small look very big. Once we clear the air, to clear the air is to get rid of doubts and hard feelings, to remove the things that is causing the argument, to remove the doubt that makes the other person not to believe you. You speak to them and you tell them how it is so that they can stop doubting you, so that you can stop the argument. You clear the air, you remove all the doubts, you get rid of doubts and the hard feeling something that is making the other person not to believe you so you talk to them in a good way to make them understand you and to remove the doubts from them so that they can come to a common ground it's good to sometimes open up and come clean 
Sometimes when you're in a relationship or when you're dealing with somebody, it is good to open up. To open up is to speak candidly, to say what is in your mind, to speak your thought. Don't hide your thoughts, don't hide what you're thinking. Sometimes if you are with a partner and you're quiet and they see you thinking, they are worried what you're thinking about. And sometimes when they ask you, you may not want to share your thought with them. And then they will start to have bad thoughts. They will start to overreact. So it is good to speak your thought. You speak candidly, you say what is on your mind. And come clean. It is good to come clean, you say the truth. Speak the truth, and then the matter that was there before, it will be cleared. You are right. Getting into disagreement has wiped me out. You are right, what you are saying is right. Getting into disagreement, having arguments all the time, quarreling all the time, it has wiped me out, it has made me tired. To wipe out or to wipe someone out is to exhaust someone. To exhaust someone, it means to make tired. Every time arguing, arguing every day, every time argument, I have become tired of argument. I don't want to argue anymore, so I will open up, I will put things in the clear so that we don't have any problems. You are right, disagreements, you are right, getting into disagreements has wiped me out, arguing, disagreeing, quarreling every day, I have become tired of it. It's no easy matter, it is no easy matter, it is not a simple matter, Simple matter or no easy matter, it is something that is not easy to do. Always arguing with somebody, always arguing with somebody is not an easy thing to do. It is no easy matter, it is no simple matter. I'm on the edge. I'm on the edge, it means I'm very anxious. I'm about to quit. You see, when you are doing something over and over again, you become anxious, you get anxiety and then you are tired of the thing, you are on the edge, you are at the end of something, you feel like giving up. I'm tired, I don't want to do this anymore. I am on the edge because of this everyday argument. They have wiped me out, they have made me tired. I'm on the edge now, I feel like giving up, I feel like quitting. So, to make a mountain out of a molehill is to overreact, to exaggerate, to make a small problem look like a big problem. To clear the air is to get rid of doubts and hard feelings. So you tell somebody what is going on so that they can stop doubting you and believe you. To open up is to speak candidly, to say your thoughts, to say your mind. Come clean is to say the truth. You come clean, you speak the truth. Wipe someone out to exhaust someone, to make somebody tired. No simple or no easy matter, it is something that is not easy to do. Arguing, arguing, arguing is not an easy thing to do, it will make you tired. On the edge, it means you feel like you are going to surrender, you are going to quit, you become very anxious. And this is where we are going to conclude our lesson for today. I hope you have had a good time. And until next time, wahada wa bilahi tawfiq. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.